Hey everyone, Alex Camilio here, and a few weeks ago we pulled the group to see what content you are interested in, and you overwhelmingly told us that you wanted to see the top three Facebook ads that work everywhere. These are the things that we see work no matter where in the world you are, how big your marketing budget is, how many years you've been a real estate agent for. These three ads are things that just work. So we wanted to bring them to you and give you an idea of what those were. Now to do this, I went out and I co-authored this article with a good friend of mine, Chris LeBurge, who works over at Savvy Card. Uh, he is an absolute wizard when it comes to Facebook ads. Uh, I turned to him for a lot of information on that. So I brought him in and he and I co-authored this article about the three ads that work everywhere. Now let's dive on in and give you what those are. But before we go too far, I want to mention that over in the blog article itself, we're actually giving away a few different um, ad concepts as well as one ad that you can copy right into your account and start using today if you wanted to. So there is a, an awesome giveaway over on the blog um, and we're going to uh, give you some examples there as well. So definitely check out the blog um, depending on where you're watching this video. So the three ads that we see that work everywhere are this. The first one is a list of homes. This is something along the lines of an ad that says, so many people have been asking me for a list of homes under, and whatever that under is, you set the median price for your market. If you would be interested in a list of homes under X in whatever neighborhood or in whatever city, stay, uh, in whatever town or city, um, download this list or contact me here to, to get this list. That is one that if you are an agent that's part of an MLS, um, you can absolutely do. It's not a ton of money to run and it's something that we see work everywhere. And amazingly, it's one of the, the absolute best ads um, in terms of performance that we see out there. So definitely check that one out, uh, hugely valuable. Now the next one is something where um, Folks can kind of be on the fence a little bit because what you end up getting for leads isn't exactly what you might have been going after, or isn't what the ad is targeted for. And what this is, is foreclosed homes. Even if you don't do foreclosed, even if you work in other, um, other niche markets, other things like that, we see foreclosed homes um, or a list of foreclosed homes being hugely, hugely popular when it comes to lead generation and not just leads for those foreclosures. And here's why. Right now, we are in this state where between HGTV and all the things that are out there, people have this idea that they can go out and get a flip home or a home that's under cost or that they can go out there and find those. So a lot of times folks who are looking for a house might start there or might include that as part of their process. Well, there's no reason that you can't go after that lead and convert them into purchasing a home in general as opposed to a flip home, or maybe it's even time to help them um, get into flips if that really is right uh, for those clients. But keep in mind that just because you're putting out a foreclosure ad does not mean that you're necessarily always going to get foreclosure leads from it or people that are interested in just those properties. Now, you might get some. There will be some in there. Um, but overwhelmingly, what we see from those foreclosure ads are leads that uh, are outside of what you might think um, you'll get out of an ad like that. And we see it as truly one of the absolute top performing um, in any market. Now, that being said, you have access to it. Just Again, you're an agent, you have access to the MLS, you can pull um, lists of homes and lists of these properties. Now the third one is um, some sort of content ad, and this is a valuable report, um, some sort of piece of content that these folks absolutely need. Now we use and we have a lot of different reports in uh, whether it be Service for Life or Three Steps that we use, um, but those reports are hugely valuable in terms of capturing leads, especially capturing leads at the right time when they're very interested in whatever that topic might be. Now the biggest ones that we see in terms of getting a response and some of the best things that we see to get a response uh, are when people are doing content ads around saving money. Um, save money when selling your home, saving, you know, seven tips to saving money or saving thousands when selling your home. Those types of reports are the ones that we see uh, be the best in terms of, I hate to use the term, but clickbait. 
um, getting people to click through, get to the content, get valuable content from you, um, and then you know you have them. You have them in your pipeline, and you can go from there. Now, those three ads, you'll notice one commonality in all of them, which is what we talk about all the time, and that's reciprocity. The notion that if I give you something, you're going to want to give me something back of value, or that we're trading value. So if we're giving them a list of homes, we're giving them a list of foreclosures, or we're giving them content about saving money or things of that nature, um, those are all pieces of value that we are giving out in terms of um, in, in order to get leads and get content back. So keep that in mind. It's all about that reciprocity. Those are three ads that we see work everywhere that are the absolute top performing ads that we see everywhere. And I just want to add one little extra note to this, uh, which is make sure that you are following up. Make sure that you are following up. And we go through this all the time for Agent Inner Circle. We've done a bunch of uh, articles around this. Um, but we see folks who will get in leads, especially from Facebook ads, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, these aren't good leads. They're not ready to buy tomorrow or sell tomorrow or whatever it is. When you're getting a lead that's cold, you need to remember these are folks that you need to nurture and follow up with. So make that part of your process. Make that follow-up part of your process because it, is, because it is absolutely critical. This has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle. As I mentioned, there are a bunch of examples as well as one ad inside the blog that you can download directly into your account. So make sure you head over there. Um, again, this has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle. Thank you so much for joining us today. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, and if you are in the United States with me, I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Alex Camilio. Signing